Some people know me from my teddy bear skulls, which they see as cute or creepy or both. I swear I'm not that into teddy bears. It's just that it was the perfect fit between material and subject matter. After I had made a sheep skull out of sheep's wool, it seemed obvious that a stuffed animal skull would be made out of firm but squishy needle felted wool. I began with actual anatomy and rounded up a bunch of different species of teddy bears and then decided to reverse engineer what they would look like inside based on the size, shape, and placement of their eyes, nose, and ears. I know skulls don't normally have ears because they're made of cartilage, but hey, I'm making this up. Over the years, I've made quite a few unnatural history specimens of teddy bears, and it still tickles me how, even though an actual bear could kill and eat us, we still make these little guys seem more like human babies. We dress them up in little outfits and bow ties. I wanted to give them back their teeth. To me, teddy bear skulls are not about death of a childhood icon. Instead, they're more a comment on how humans see ourselves and our relationship to the other creatures in the world, and how we might want to change them and adapt them to our own use. But they can also just be creepy and cute. 